here at Goldcrest every year. We have the Wild Bird Expo in conjunction with the Heart of America Gift Show. Uh, it mainly started off as kind of a warehouse show, which this show is for our, our retailers. Vendors too, but our retailers would drive us and uh, we, we do the red carpet treatment for everything. Like today it was raining, so we had people out there with umbrellas walking people in. But just they get to see people. Sometimes you don't realize who's maybe packing your boxes or pulling your orders. Um, and it's kind of nice to put a face with that. The whole warehouse is open. They can grab anything out of the box, touch it, feel it, and they can even take it home with them. If we have anything overstocked, sometimes discontinued items where maybe we have three or four left and we need to clear out the space, we just throw it in the garage sale. They get a heck of a discount, sometimes over 50% just off wholesale. Yeah, hi, we're Butch and Jan Payne from uh, Chesterfield, Missouri, Wild Birds Unlimited store. And uh, we've been coming to this expo ever since the inception, which I think was about 10 years ago. And uh, we just really enjoy coming and getting to see the people that we talk to all the time and give us great service. It also keeps us um, in focus with what the new trends are with products and um, helping us to figure out what to bring in our store that's going to be enticing for um, the customers other than what we usually have in the store. Hi, I'm Mark McKellar. I'm the owner of the Backyard Bird Center in Kansas City, Missouri. Been coming to this Goldcrest show since the beginning. I've known Mel for many, many years and uh, it, we look forward to it every year. This show provides us with exposure to the best new products on the market. You know, we see our friends that we see year after year. It gives us a chance to communicate with store owners from all over the country to see how they're doing, uh, how their business is, what's been selling for them. It's always great. It's just a terrific show and, and, and we will continue to support it. As long as he can be able to keep this going, we'll keep coming. We actually have non-stocking vendors, so people come here like it's their trade show once a year and sell to our retail base, which is great. We have a couple uh, keynote speakers. Uh, sometimes they talk about merchandising. The last one talked about uh, bringing some of the people who are more internet shoppers into your retail store. Every year, too, another big one we have tomorrow is 30 Ideas in 30 Minutes. That's always a, a big, fun one. We actually have five stores up and each one pitches, I think, six ideas of, of kind of what they've done. Gift has been a big area of growth for us. We have all kinds of gift stuff now, so it's kind of turned into a gift show, too. Um, just to see the 80-plus vendors, and then mainly, like I said before, people can shop it. If you look around, the shopping carts going around, they're full of stuff. A lot of the people are coming here, getting that last charge right before Christmas, before their busy time, getting everything uh, stocked up for the shelves. So. Pretty much all the food and lunches uh, we, we source locally, and then on top of that, the, the Area Chamber of Commerce sends out volunteers to kind of help with everything. And, and we have a lot of kids. We do the COE program and, and work with a lot of the high schools and the Votex, and a lot of those kids actually get extra time off to, to come kind of learn the process of a trade show, because I think anybody in their job will go to a trade show or work one at one time or another, so it's good to get that hands-on experience. 